Yo, what's up guys? So I got a random video here for you. So I've been trying to look online how to build a TIE Fighter, so I just took it upon myself to build it myself because I can't really find a good template. So it's the finished product of one I already made in my world. I'm going to try and see if I can't recreate this, maybe get a little bit more uh, done. I feel like this centerpiece needs to go up higher one block. I didn't want to redo everything. But yeah, I also wanted to get more slime banners and maybe different lights, but whole idea is there. I might not put the force field and the space stuff there, like it's coming out of hyperspace, because like, fun fact, TIE Fighters don't have uh, hyperdrives, I guess, so. <laughs> that fucking idea was uh, a bummer, but at least you got like protection, so you don't fucking, you know, at least it's doing its job, right? The other thing is trying to exit out. I feel like I want, like, a little escape pod down there or something. But yeah, there's a couple of builds that you can do with this. Mine just has enough room for a bed, but there's also one that has uh, um, three down here. I'm not sure what I want to do, but if you want to get the one with the escape hatch on the bottom, I think the one with the bed... Like, if you raise this chair higher, I bet you can jump down here and fucking go through, but I'm just barely able to jump through that gap. <laughs> It's a little tight little micro build, but it is suitable. It is my spawn point. It is actually pretty decent. So yeah, um, I think I'll uh, skip to the building part. Oh yeah, this house is missing a table. Yeah, how come I can set my spawn point? Oh well, you can make it a valid house. You just put little fucking little places here and put like a workbench or whatever. But you can make an NPC spawn in these. It's freaking great. I got one in my buddy's house, and I tried to recreate this, but anyway, yeah, I'll stop rambling, we'll just get to the building. So what you're gonna need are a bunch of smooth marble, some obsidian brick to make some obsidian brick wall, that's how I do the design at least, this is kind of a hard mode house with this, and if you want to do the force field thing, you can get a bunch of those space wallpapers, but I don't have enough, so I'm just gonna build my ship in space, save some time. And of course, Plenty of platforms and uh, a couple of green slime banners for details. And I think that's pretty much it. And yeah, I'm duping these. Uh, I don't care. This is just how I do it. <laughs> I'm not going to go and destroy it, most of my world just to, and waste a bunch of time. And I can go and do this, really. But you can find marble in the ice biomes, uh, deep in the ice biomes, I think, because I found mine like way right here. That's my marble biome. Kind of close to the granite and the fire in the l underworld. Some of these lava biomes. I think, uh, yeah, mine was next to that. And you could dig a hole to hell early on, but that's kind of a bitch, uh, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, that's kind of why I think this is probably a hard mode house. But I think it's worth it in my eyes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, and I did already dig my hell hole, so... Yeah, I think uh, I'll probably stop wasting your time there. That's all the parts you need. Uh, maybe a couple of green torches for the lasers. Um, stars in the bottles or fireflies for the uh, wallpaper effect I think would be cool. You need a hammer for the stone to make it a little bit more rounded. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go up and see what I can improve upon. What your inventory should look like. I kind of went overboard on the smooth stone and obsidian, but you kind of really need maybe about 300, maybe just two of these, about 50 of those. And yeah, going to hell and getting 50 obsidian brick is kind of a chore at the beginning, but whatever. <laughs> and yeah, maybe a couple of these for decoration, little bits and pieces, and uh, yeah. I could add on to it as well if I uh, knew some more tricks, but uh. Yeah, this is a good little starting point, and I already went ahead and skipped ahead this part. Uh, what I did, instead of using the space bricks, I went ahead and uh, just built all the way up into space. So, yeah, we'll just start here. You can just build a tower straight up from the ground, or I just kind of attached it here, and kind of aiming for, uh, you know, go down here, but since it's on console, this is really good to have post-hard mode, so yeah, it's probably one of those post-hard mode bases, just so... Well, unless you know how to do it. I'm sure a good person knows what they're doing can get this done. I unfortunately don't have the creative mode stuff. Well, anyway, yeah. 
we'll start with this. Make a little tower. You want to be like right in this. Uh, in order to get a bed in here, I think it needs to be four. But yeah, we'll do it four. Just to give it some. I don't want to fuck that up. Yeah, I'll put some marble here, but that's going to be like the baseline. And kind of just want to stair step it. might be a little tinier than the other one. Could probably make it taller and add on. So I kinda I like to even it out here is have two out in the open. You could make it one, but yeah. Two makes it look like more structure. You can make that four wide. Yeah, you want this to be four. So just to recap here. See that one, two, three, four, and that's six. Yeah, it's six. And you got the four wide. This guy will get in the fucking way, but you know, at least he protects you. It kind of, it kind of annoys me, but yeah, don't mind my random commentary. <laughs> up a little bit, don't worry. I'm gonna fix it. There we go. I just didn't add it on there. It should look something like this. Now you have room for your hatches. Yeah. I'm actually gonna put those on now just so I can kinda secure it. I need to hide. I am playing on expert mode right now. My other one is on uh, normal mode. And yeah, I'll replace maybe one or two of those with uh, marble, but I got that down. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the walls. See if I actually got that done right. And this is a fun little pattern. Um, actually, it's, this is up to you. You can do it in black or silver, but I believe uh, it was the center that was blacked out, right? Yeah, I need to make it a little bigger. could make it blacked out, yeah, because if you make it uh, slightly wider, you can get that going, but you get the gist, right? <laughs> some of these walls. stair step it just to get the shape right and since this one's slightly smaller I think I can get away with it. I'm 
tired of getting zombies up here. It's insane. Insanity. I remember what I did. You want a stop sign in the center. That's what it was. I want to, like, get these a little rounded off, though. Getting this design just right is kind of the hard part, but you can almost kind of see it. It might need to be slightly bigger just to get it right, but... I also need to widen it out a bit. Probably put some spots here. this part and kind of get away with it if you know what you're doing. I'm sure, but kind of want to get the, the plus sign and the cross with like a little square in the middle, a little circle in the middle if you can. And that's the basic design. I could show a picture, but I think that would be like copyright or something. But yeah, I think that's close enough. And then with the the black hatches on the top here. You can kind of get away with it having the extra thing here. And you can get rid of one and have the actual hatch be uh, marble. And that looks a little better. I'll go ahead and make this part. You just want to mirror this for the most part. It's so fun flying in space doing this stuff. I mean, I got the wings now, so you don't really have to worry about like jetpacks or any of that. Yeah, since it's smaller, you'd, this might look a little bulkier having this on here, but I think it looks better. I don't know. I think I would have better wing, wing structure if I was flying these things. Anyway. I'm gonna start getting rid of some of this. Ooh, I think it's getting nighttime. This is getting fun. I put up some torches. If I have any. Oh, I don't have any torches. I just have my green ones. Now from here, I think. I think I went 12 or 13 tall or something, I can't remember what it was, but from here it would be like 5, 6, 10 looks a little bit too short, so maybe like 12 looks good, 13, 14 I think looks the best, like it looks just tall enough, and that's from this top piece, 14 from this top, so trying to mirror it on all sides. Simple enough, right? I know I've been too tall, but like when you're up at this high in space your aimer actually gets fucked up. <laughs> so that's one thing to consider when living up here. And using this crazy ass pickaxe.
items for that, right? Now you could make a double sized version and you would, yeah, you would typically put a row of two, so that's too thick. I have another one, I don't think it was like that. This one, I think. You know, the tiny ties. Looks good. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. money. So I have like infinite. <laughs> I'll just add some. Actually, I'll put these on just because. Put these like. right under these squares. And put these like right in the center of them. So they're facing outward. And now it kind of looks like little blaster cannons. <coughs> Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, yeah, finish up the wings, add some more lights, I guess. Uh, I need to go craft like a marble chair, a bunch of other stuff, but you know, for the most part, this is pretty much done. Just finishing this stuff, little minor details. Getting a bed or something. <laughs> Curious if a bed could even fit in that, though, because I made it a little too small. <coughs> some uh, hell torches. The purple torches look really cool on here, but I think uh, do I have glass bottles? I did just get a shooting star. I think the freaking star on the bottles look good, or you can get some fireflies for background stars if you're going to do the uh, wallpaper route. And making that shield was a pain in the ass. It was taking this thing times ten, but I had to make it like awkward. He saw how awkward it was, it was like wide, stretched out, so I didn't really want to make a video on how to do that, because I didn't really feel comfortable with that stuff. But I think, uh, yeah, this looks good. I just need, uh, oh yeah, you can add these in, <laughs> the laser beams. I usually use, like, obsidian, like, the leftover obsidian bricks. about maybe two off. Oh, we lost one. And there we go. And you can just mirror that all the way down if you want to and make it a make a staircase of banners that jump all the way to the top. That was one of my ideas. So as I kill slimes, I can create my staircase. Although, as you level up in Terraria, you get wings and flying mounts and stuff, so the more you level up, the less you need it. But there you go. Freaking little TIE fighter. And of course, yeah. all about adding the finishing touches and I'll probably just skip that. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think I have a finished project right ahead and did a little bit more extra detailing. I added uh, my actual escape hatch so I can drop down, jump in. 
uh, yeah, I couldn't get any hell torches, so I figured stars in the bottles are just fine. I kind of dug in a little bit just to add them in there instead of putting like actual torches, but whatever. And also, I'm kind of doing this with the sides here. Um, put a little brick in the corners and then hammer them down just to kind of round them out and kind of learn that trick. Just because, like, right here, there's a little, little gap. Block it off so it's still too bulky. Hit it with a hammer. And then now it's like not as bulky. I thought that was nice. So I'll just go ahead and round those off. And yeah. We got our uh, TIE Fighter. And we got uh, two workbenches in here, so still do whatever. Two chairs. So let's do the final test. This housing is suitable. So now one of my NPCs will actually spawn in here. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed. I, I know this is a little longer and a little bit different than the usual videos I post, but I figured it's not a little bit of a change could have been nice. I guess I could. I'm still not done with this design, I'm still adding it. I think I used to have these little pieces in the corners too, just to add some texture place some of the pieces with, uh, you know, stone if you wanted to. I used to add in these ones, make them stone. I thought it made it look like more uh, mechanical on the inside. But you can do whatever. That's just kind of what I do. Alright. Yeah. I'd say that's done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vid, and uh, take care.